that, that concept of a, of a second singularity, I mean, that's, the, that's an important uh, proposition you're making. Yeah. It's fundamental, I think. Yeah. Uh, so are you saying from that concept there should be uh, a new way of approaching science? Or what, what should a scientist do if they are going to embrace that concept? Well, it's really the old way of approaching science, which is to presume order, not disorder. OK. OK. And, and to presume that you can discover the mechanisms in it. I think there's, there might be thousands of rules and mechanisms in DNA that nobody's even discovered yet. Okay? I would be extremely charitable and extremely optimistic in looking at DNA and going, what else are we going to find in here? We might be unraveling this for the next 300 years with unbelievable technologies and still finding another level, another level, because the laws of physics, you know, you can write them all down in however many pages of a textbook, and there they are. Right. And we're still making discoveries, and we're still, oh, more subatomic particles and more things out there in outer space that we never even dreamed of. Right. And physics is so finite. If the genome, you know, is 750 megabytes of extremely tightly packed code, what are you going to find in there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So there's a it's a it's a charitable towards there being order. Yes. You, and, you always and, have to assume order, not disorder. And that the most fruitful scientific pursuits come when you assume some order. Yes.